Hey guys, it's me and more. So I want to show you guys a hair fail that I experienced using Curls Unleashed by Organic Root Stimulators Curl Defining Cream. Um, so I started on damp hair. That could have been one of the reasons why I experienced this hair fail. Um, because my hair was damp, I dec definitely recommend you um, air drying about 50% before using this product. And I moisturized using my Everything Butter. Um, I moisturized before I detangled and I just used a wide tooth comb to detangle from roots to ends. So I just used a little bit of the curl defining cream for each section. I divided my hair into four sections and I did four twists on each section. So I did try a new method of twisting my hair. Um, what I did was I wrapped the hair around my finger and then I twisted. Honestly, I don't know why I was doing this. I was trying something new. I don't know if that was the reason for my hair fail or if it was the reason my hair didn't dry all the way. But I was just trying a new technique. So you'll see that I have two different rollers in my hair. I have some sponge rollers and I have some perm rods and I actually do like the sponge rollers a whole lot. Um, I like them because they get a better curl. I get a better grip on the ends of my hair and they're much more comfortable to sleep in at night. So I'm just adding a little bit of my Shea Butter Mix to my ends to moisturize and seal. Um, my camera was out of focus. So I'm just adding a little bit. You always want to protect your ends. And now I'm just using my roller and I'm rolling it up from the bottom to the top. So this is how everything looked once it was done. As you can see, the product is kind of sitting on top of my hair. Um, so that's another reason why I know it was just too wet. You can see the residue. So here's the next day. Um, they did not completely dry. I was a little disappointed. But also, I'm kind of wondering if the fail would have still happened even if it dried. Um, it didn't leave my hair greasy. But it did leave it kind of moist. I can't really describe it. Um, it didn't leave it like, let's say I rubbed my head against like the couch or something. Um, it probably would have been some residue on the couch. So I'm thinking if my hair was dry, I wouldn't have had this hair fail. Or if I used less product, I wouldn't have the hair fail. So this is how everything came out. As you can see, um, my ends are really curly using the curl, um, using the sponge roller. So I really like the ends. But I just really was not feeling this hairstyle. Um, I think I could have probably did flat twists. I didn't like the fact that I did a middle part. I was just trying something new and it was just, I just was not feeling it. I was in a rush and I, it was just no reviving that hairstyle. So when all else fails, what do I do? I just do a high puff and um, yeah, that's just how I rock this hairstyle. Um, the puff did last me for about, about a good four days. Um, so that was good because the product was heavy. All I did was mist that night with some um, water, coconut oil. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.